case you were ever wondering about non-UV treated plastic, well, here's the problem with it. After one season of use, I left it in the sun, and this is what happens to it. It just turns brittle, and it will break off in little bitty pieces very, very easily. And as that goes into the environment, of course, it breaks up into smaller and smaller pieces until you get microplastics. Well, this is probably one big source of microplastics. Here's another source of microplastics. Cheap synthetic rope made in some foreign country where they don't have to worry about environmental regulations nearly as much as here in the States. So you just cut this rope in half and you can pour out this mysterious unknown plastic powder. When this rope was new, that plastic powder was actually an internal plastic thread running the entire length of the rope. But for whatever reason, it degrades into the plastic powder. Here's another source of microplastics. Old duct tape. It gets brittle and just flakes into endless amounts of plastic. Tiny, tiny fragments. So after you're done using that cheap polyethylene sheet plastic, you better take it down and get rid of it because by the second season it's going to be brittle and good for nothing. Unless you want to get microplastics everywhere. Matter of fact, I've even heard that they work their way into fruits and veggies some mysterious way. So, don't want to be eating that. But, polyethylene sheets doesn't sound nearly as bad to me in the breakdown process as that mysterious powder inside that synthetic rope made in some foreign country. Who knows what kind of plastic that was and what it breaks down into. It's kind of scary.